2003, this making of a murderer in Stephen Avery thing. I've never watched it. I'm going to. But Stephen Avery is alleged to have killed Teresa Hollabach. Her remains were found burned outside of Stephen Avery's house. Now, according to Cameron... The Zodiac wrote a letter about how he would create a bomb. Now, one of our stupid episodes on Hunt for the Zodiac was looking for this bomb. I was up in a helicopter. That was the only cool thing about that episode. The rest of it was pretty far-fetched and bullshit. Um, but it wasn't a lie. Zodiac did say that he was planning a bomb. And he put it in the ground. So we went and looked for it. But Cameron says... That he killed Teresa Hollenbach. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Placed her body over top of this homemade bomb. As Zodiac described decades earlier. Blew up Teresa's body. Then went and picked up all the body parts. And planted them to frame Stephen Avery. Oh my God, are you for real? I don't know how many times I'm going to be speechless. I really don't. Listen, I didn't watch Making of a Murderer. I don't know whether Stephen Avery is guilty or not guilty. I don't know whether the police framed him or didn't frame him. I don't know any of that. But I tell you what did not happen, okay? Eddie Edwards did not do a homemade bomb in the ground, blow up her body into little bitty pieces, and then he went and picked up those little bitty pieces to go and frame somebody whom he didn't know. The reason that he planted these body parts that he blew up and was able to find to frame Stephen Avery was in retaliation of the Zodiac, which he was, right? He was the Zodiac. Had the same last name as Paul Avery, the reporter that the Zodiac taunted. So because Paul Avery and Stephen Avery have the same last name, the Zodiac, a.k.a. Eddie Edwards planted these body parts there to frame them. <sighs> okay. I have written down here <clears throat> the reason that Eddie Edwards is tied to the Stephen Avery case is because he lived in Wisconsin. And he wanted to make the cops look stupid, like they were planning evidence when they really weren't. He supports this theory by showing a picture of someone that resembles Eddie Edwards during the trial footage, during the Stephen Avery trial. Does it resemble? Yeah, it could. But it could resemble... One million other people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a classic example of making evidence fit your theory. Oh, matter of fact, I got a star written down right here. 
He said, Cameron, follow the evidence. Don't make it fit. Then I wrote underneath it, are you kidding me? That is exactly what you're doing. That's exactly what he's doing. And even Ken, is it Ken Krantz, the prosecutor, said to Cameron during this documentary, you can't have it both ways. You're trying to make it fit. And that's exactly what he's doing. Another page of notes, okay? He states that Eddie Edwards was raised in his formative years in this orphanage. So they revisited the orphanage. And when they went there, it's a Catholic school. But guess what? Well, there's a cross on that Catholic school. But according to Cameron, it's the Zodiac sign. And it's another tie-in to Cam to Edwards being the Zodiac. You can't make this stuff up, folks. You can't. Only in Hollyweird. I'm telling you. He says in his books how he was raised, Edwards was raised, in a, and he was beat a lot by these nuns. And he said, I hated Sister Agnes with all my heart. Then why not kill her? Okay? <laughs> Just when you think it can't get any more crazy, let me throw this one at you. Ready? Throw a big softball size at you. Serving it up for you to hit a home run here. Ready? Lacey Peterson. Okay. He states that Eddie Edwards killed Lacey Peterson in order to frame Scott Peterson. Now, why? Well, what's his motive? Well, they kind of dance around this, okay? But essentially, Scott Peterson was a cheater. And he was, Eddie Edwards is going to punish him for that. Although that doesn't quite make sense because Lacey, it wasn't found out that Scott cheated on Lacey with Amber Fry until after Lacey was murdered. So that doesn't make any sense. Because Lacey Peterson's body was found in the bay in San Francisco, he correlates that to the Zodiac. You know how many bodies have been found in San Francisco? Are all of them related to Zodiac? He says, he states that Lacey and the baby, the unborn baby that also washed up with her, was planted on the shore by Eddie Edwards. And he supports this fact by saying the decomposition of both bodies were not consistent with being in the water. And I adamantly disagree. The decomp of the baby was not as severe as Lacey's. Now Lacey was found basically a torso. How many? How, how much more decomp do you want, buddy? You know what I mean? The unborn baby, it was not decomp that much. You know why? Because it was protected from the elements because it was inside Lacey's stomach. And it expanded after many weeks of being underwater. It finally gave loose. And when they, they broke free from the concrete shackles that they had on and risen to the top of the water and floated to the bank. It's not because they weren't in the water. He also said that Lacey's Peterson's body was mutilated. That's not true. How can you say that? It was decomped from being in the water. It wasn't mutilated. You're twisting the facts to try to make it fit your narrative. And that's wrong. 
That is why I think that he is saying that he's a hated man and none of none of these family members want him I've never had that if you're help, if you're truly helping the the victims and the victims families they want they they embrace you I've only had maybe two or three families disagree with me because I didn't see the case the way they saw it and maybe only one of them didn't like me. But to despise me and not want to meet and talk with me. Like these guys, these victims, family has done with him. Maybe that's why. Because you're twisting the evidence to fit your narrative. And that's wrong. I've written down here after I put the decomp of Connor and being untrue, I were getting angry again. I was I'm just get, I was getting so frustrated. And I have a quote here. He killed Lacey also because Lacey was a brunette, just like his wife and mother. Really? How about the other hundred thousand brunettes that were killed? Were they all Ed Edwards because they reminded him of his mother? Yeah, let's talk about 